What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Alright, we're coming back to Soundgarden. Yes, indeed, Soundgarden fans, feeling you! Come on now! Here we go. This is a request from Parker Christopher, Caleb P., and Sean Miller. They all want to see me react to this song by Soundgarden called Jesus Christ Pose. Now, have I heard this song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, I've never heard this song before. It does not resonate with me. It does not ring a bell in any way. However, however, there is always a chance I may have heard this song in passing, and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second, I've heard this before, I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Now, this was posted by Soundgarden, okay? And the video has 6.9 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Soundgarden, Jesus Christ Pose, official music video. Ah, the word official always makes me nervous. Always does. So whenever you use official anything uh, and it comes off the band's page, there's always a slightly higher chance that your video is going to get blocked. Block! Block! Let's hope that's not the case here. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Not gonna lie, that first minute and a half, I'm I was getting worried. I mean, between the dead silence for like the first thirty seconds, and then the guitar noise, for lack of a better word, let's just call it what it was. That that, that guitar racket that was happening, uh, I was getting worried. I mean, the drummer was playing a great pattern. I could hear the bass underneath, and then coming up to the higher part of the neck to get that kind of a accenting line at the end of each uh, measure or at the, at the end of each at the end of each phrase um it was helping but that guitar noise at the beginning was really starting to get on my nerves uh it sounds like they're now getting into an actual riff which thankfully they're doing um so far 
I want, okay, I want to like this. I do. And I'm really, now that they're out of it, I'm hoping the riff is going to be established and it's going to get a lot better. But as it stands right now at this very second, I, uh, uh, no, 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 I, 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 I don't like it. I, I don't like it at all. It, ugh, uh, let's keep going. Let's, like I said, now that we're, I think the guitar player is going into a riff. I, I think we're going to see what's going to happen now. Now let's get out of that noise and let's get into the actual song. That's that's nice. I like that. It is that is a great riff. I think it's one six, one flat five. Let's see it. Let's see. Is there an E? Boom. Okay, so well they're detuned, right? So Yep. One six, one flat five. I love it. I love it. Very dissonant. It is very dissonant, but it always comes back to the one though. Um so one to the six, one, well, to the minor six, I should say, and then one to the flat five. It's really nice, so minor five. Uh, so, yeah, flat six, flat five, flat six, flat five. Yeah, very dissonant. So he, he's, and Chris Cornell is doing a very similar pattern in his vocal. You know, one, seven, five to the flat five. Uh, really cool. I, I dig that. I absolutely dig that. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, the groove is... Mu okay, I, I will say, I will say, the song has gotten a lot better. A lot better from the beginning. I, I, I'm going to just try to my best to put that beginning out of my head right now and just focus on what's going on now, which is fantastic. Um, let's keep going for now. There, there's... There's a lot more I want to talk about, but for the sake of time constraints, let, let's keep going right now, and uh, we'll touch on those other parts later. <laughs>
nice little breakdown there. I, wasn't much of a breakdown. It was, it was pretty short, but it was a it was a nice little breakdown there. Um, vocally, trying to remember all the Chris Cornell performances I've heard, uh, all the songs I've heard that had Chris Cornell singing. I don't know if this is the strongest I've ever heard of, but it's way up there. I would definitely say top three that I've heard, uh, for sure. I, I I can say that with certainty. Is this? It it could quite possibly be the strongest performance I've ever heard from them. It could be. I'm, I'm trying to remember every song I've heard from them so far on the channel, and I mean I've heard some great performances from him. So for me to say that this is the strongest I've ever heard from him. I, I can't say that with 100% certainty. I can, with 100% certainty, say that this is probably top three as far as power and range go. Um, very impressive vocal delivery. Very impressive vocal performance. So, now this is really good. I, I am... I am digging this song now. Now that we got past that beginning, I am absolutely digging this song. Let's keep going. Let's see where we go here. Don't tell me we're going to end how we started. Please don't do this to me. Look, I, I'm feeling good about this. I like the song. I, I, I feel good. Please don't ruin it by going back to what you were doing at the beginning. I beg you. Please don't do this to me. Don't ruin it for me. Why'd you have to ruin it like that? God. I wanted to give this a good score, too. I really did. Well, I'm officially depressed. Um... I'll see you in the review. Well, there you go, folks. That was Soundgarden with Jesus Christ Pose. This was a request from Parker Christopher, Caleb P., and Sean Miller. <sighs> I wanted to give this a higher score. I did. As a matter of fact, they had a higher score all set. They did. 
it was literally going to be handed to them on a silver platter. And then they had to go and do the exact same thing at the end that they did at the beginning. And just take it off the plate and smash it on the ground. <sighs> All right. Well, I mean, I gotta be honest, folks. I, I gotta be honest. Look. I'm going to explain it. I, I am going to explain everything, okay? I promise you, I'm going to explain where I'm coming from and why I feel the way I feel and why I'm giving it the score I'm going to give it. I promise I'm going to explain it. But I know a lot of Soundgarden fans are going to hear the, the score I'm going to give here, and they're going to turn the video off right away. I guarantee you, they're going to rage quit. I promise you, they're going to rage quit on me. They're going to hear the score, and they're going to be like, forget this, pow, X. You know, I, I guarantee you. I guarantee you. <sighs> On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that an 8.1. Yep, 8.1. I I mean, I don't feel good about it. Here's the thing. I don't even feel good about giving it that score, but that is the score I feel it deserves. All right? Let me tell you why. Why? The middle of the, of the song. The meat and potatoes of the song. 90% of the song was great. Loved it. Loved everything about it. The groove, rock solid. I loved the accents. I loved that off-tempo feel. Very nicely done. Um, guitar playing on this was fantastic. Um, the guy's name, don't tell me. I, I, I'm trying to remember names here. I think his name is Kim. Uh, he had the guitar wailing in the beginning, in the beginning, in the middle, in that middle section, like it was literally wailing and crying. I loved it. It sounded fantastic, and he, a little bit at the end too. He kind of got it wailing again a little bit at the end, but not like he had it in the middle. Boy, the middle was great. It was great. Um, bass playing solid, very solid bass playing. Um, nothing all that technically impressive, but I, I mean, at the beginning it was a little bit. Him, him coming off of the neck and try to establish some kind of a movement and motion within the melodic line. It, that, that was all him. Um, but through the rest of the middle of the song, that was that was handled by the guitar while bass took care of his job and filled out the bottom end. Fantastic work on his part. Uh, like I said about Chris Cornell's vocal delivery on this, I can't say with 100% certainty it's the strongest performance I've heard from him, but I can say with 100% certainty it is top three. Uh, the power, the delivery, um, the projection, the tone, everything about this sounded fantastic from him. Definitely top three vocal performance from Chris Cornell on this, without question. This song, with that middle section alone, was going to get like an 8.5, 8.6, possibly 8.7, okay? I was willing to go that high on this. Now, why the 8.1? Very simply, the beginning and the end. I don't know why bands feel so compelled to make these cacophonous, stupid, mistakes and stupid noises by making this cacophonous noise that has no place, no rhyme or reason, and has absolutely, absolutely no purpose whatsoever other than being offensive to the ears. I do not understand why. And I don't understand why the need to do it at the beginning and the end. If they did it at the beginning, but they had not done it at the end, I'll be honest with you, I would have still given this like an 8.3 or an 8.4, but because they came back to it and felt the necessity to have this, I mean, you got crap at the beginning, amazingness in the middle, and crap at the end. You have a sandwich, basically. I don't understand why. Why bands, especially from this era, felt so compelled to do this. It's stupid, and it ruined a perfectly good score.
I'm sorry, I can't get over it. I cannot get past it. I don't understand why the necessity for it. Why the need? What are you trying to convey, you know? I, I don't understand it. I, I just do not understand why you need to be so offensive to our ears with this cacophonous beginning and worse, cacophonous ending. I just don't understand it. I will never get it. I will never understand it. I just don't understand it at all. And it just, it frustrates the hell out of me because I was ready to give this, no joke, I was ready to go 8.6, maybe even 8.7. I mean, an argument could have been made if that cacophonous beginning and ending weren't there, I might possibly have gone as high as 8.8. .8. But because they destroyed it with that stupid beginning and that ridiculously stupid decision to come back to it at the end and create this sandwich, I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. I, I and yes, I did. I was that offended. Absolutely. I I don't. I didn't like it at all. It the the beginning was bad enough. Okay, they did it at the beginning. I'm sitting here scratching my head, rolling my eyes, trying my best to block it out, and I'm sitting here going, "Please end, please end." And then it ended. And I even remember thinking to myself, "They better not end like that." They better not do like a lot of these artists from the 90s did and return to the beginning. They better not. And they did. I just... I'm sorry. I don't get it. I just don't get it. They're still getting an 8.1, which is by definition a great score. Okay? it It's still a great score. Barely. <laughs> An 8.1 is at the bottom of the barrel of the greats, but it is still great, okay? But it could have had an 8.7 or even an 8.8. 8.1, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hopefully, you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It'll do me a world of good and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous, and support each other. Later, peace.